All right, guys. I'm in nincompoop. I definitely forgot to do the word problems at the end of the part two video. So this is the part three video. We already did part two. This time we're doing part three with the word problems at the end of the 30, 60, 90 triangles. So we're going all the way to the end for on example 4A and B. Whoopsie. All right, so an ornamental pin is in the shape of an equilateral triangle. The length of each side is six centimeters. Oh, okay. So this one's six, this one's six, and this one is six. Josh will attach the fastener to the back along segment AB. That should have a bar over it. Will the fastener fit if it is four centimeters long? Okay, so we obviously don't want the fastener to be like sticking out and like gross. So we just want it to be, we don't want it to be too big. So we really need to find this side. So if you look at this triangle, I mean, this little side right here is three, right? Because it's half of six. So if you look at this triangle right here, I'm going to do it bigger. Oops, that was too big. Okay, this is our three. This is our six. Okay, this is our 90 degree angle. If it's an equilateral triangle, that means that all of these angles are 60. 60, 60, and 60. They're all 60. So this angle here is 60 degrees. Okay, and that chopped in half is this angle, which is 30 degrees. So here, guys, I have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So the three is my short side, that's my S. The six you can see is my two times my three, two S. And my height here is um, going to be S, S times the square root of three. S square root of three. So, if my S is 3, I just put in a 3 for my S. So that would be 3 root 3. So I can't tell what 3 root 3 is compared to 4, like if it's 4 is too big or anything, because that looks weird. So let's see what 3 root 3 is on the calculator as a decimal. 3 root 3. Oops, that's three squared three. Three square root of three. All right, so 5.2-ish. So AB is approximately 5.2. Let me draw my picture one more time. This one's three, this one's six, this one is 5.2-ish. So will a four centimeters long fastener, I don't know what that looks like, I'm just gonna draw a safety pin looking thing. Okay, well, that looks like a part of the anatomy, so I'm not gonna draw a picture, I'm just gonna say, let's just make sure, make it a pin, I don't know. Is the thing that's four centimeters long going to fit on there? Well, yeah, because that side is 5.2. Okay, so yes, because four is less than 5.2. These are all in centimeters. All right, sorry that I drew a crazy picture. Let's just forget that happened. Okay. Um, a manufacturer wants to make a larger clock with a height of 30 centimeters. What is the length of each side of the frame? 
Okay. Okay, so I guess it's a triangular clock. So what they're telling us is that we have a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. So let me redraw the picture with just the important information. So here's our 60 degree angle. Here's our 30 degree angle. And we have a height of 30. And this is our right angle. So my short side is my S. My hypotenuse across from my right angle is my 2S side. And my long leg or my middle side is S square root of 3. So really what I need to find is the length of each side of the frame. So that's this. Length of frame, which is my hypotenuse, my 2s side. Okay, so let's find S and then double it. So I know that um, S root 3 equals 30. So let's start there. S times the square root of 3 equals 30. So to find S, I can just divide by root 3, divide by root 3. So my S equals 30 over the square root of 3. But I'm not allowed to leave a radical in the denominator like that. So I'm going to have to multiply top and bottom by root 3 and rationalize. So that gives me s equals 30 root 3 over root 3 times root 3 is 3. Divide 30 by 3, and my s is 10 root 3. That is s. So what I need is 2s. So I just have to double that. So 2 times 10 root 3, that looks like a not good 3, is 20 root 3. Now it says that I have to round to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to need my calculator for that. So 20 times the square root of 3. Okay, so it said the nearest tenth, right? Yeah, okay. Sorry, that was my husband. Okay, so if I'm rounding to the nearest tenth, I put in 20 root 3, so that would be 34.6. So my frame length equals 34.6, 34.6 centimeters. Don't forget your units. Okay. All done.